okay so first thing from where i have applied the velocity so velocity if you go to predefined field here you can change the velocity this is in mm per second 27770 mm per second the unit is mm per second so in meter per second most probably it will be around 100 meter per second so if you can convert in meter per second meter per hour uh, this is it mm per second okay so if you want to change the velocity just double click on this change the velocity click ok and why in v3 because the these things are moving in third direction z direction v3 that was the first concern second concern was and uh, for internal energy deformation and kinetic energy context document was see internal energy and uh, kinetic energy so definitely kinetic energy means kinetic energy simple formula is half mb square okay See, simple kinetic energy formula is half m v square. Now we have a cross, we have a bumper, and bumper is hitting the wall. Okay, this is wall, this is bumper. Now, if you try to find out the relation, if you see the plot of the kinetic energy at rest the kinetic energy will be zero because v is the velocity so if velocity is zero means my kinetic energy will be zero so when these things are in rest there is no movement the kinetic energy will be zero as soon as it hits the uh, box means when the velocity starts increasing let's say it is moving at a speed of 15 mm per second 15 meter per second so it will it will go like this so as soon as the it reaches from changes from 15 it will go like this and as soon as it hits hit it its velocity will decrease isn't it its velocity will decrease as soon as it hit this one because it is moving with the initial velocity this velocity is not constant it is moving at the initial velocity and due to the physics of the problem like if this is a glass glass it will break it and it will continue its speed but if this is a steel it cannot break it and it will be reverted back so based on that as the velocity changes the kinetic energy will change so as soon as it reverts back to its original position and the velocity is zero then it will come down to zero and then the internal energy so internal energy means any body has its internal energy due to the molecular energy if this is a cube resting on a solid plate then this body also has internal energy due to its molecular movement in the model so this is called internal energy if you just go through google little bit you will understand what is internal energy internal energy the energy possessed by the body due to its intermolecular movement it is at the molecular level okay and that's all between the internal energy and kinetic energy deformation so if i just show you this right click result you have to run the results or if you have directly odb file dot odb file then go to results and from here file open change it to odb file and from here locate the odb file that i have sent you just open it so you'll get this type of visualization click on this and click on this animation so it will show you the animation now where i have extracted the displacement i have extracted displacement directly at the midpoint now if you want to change check the deformation pattern of this right click on this material i need it. this is abs plastic so this is how it is deformed you can just go like this and plot it okay so you see the kinetic energy was initially very high because initially the this uh, object is moving 
you see holding it double into and here I have found kinetic funny. Okay. Now I link both of those and try to yeah. This is in the now see. Now try to see this. It's very interesting to understand. Now if you see this this movement uh, Do you see this? The movement you will understand from here what I am trying to tell you about the kinetic energy. So, see, this is the point when the well, initial velocity was given. So, we remember if you remember the formula half mb square. So, initially, some values, velocity is given, let's say 5 meter per second. So this is my initial velocity. So what will be the initial kinetic energy? Half into some mass will be there and velocity. So less mass is m and velocity is 5. So some value will be there. So that value initially it is here. Now as soon as it is coming here and it hits the object, its velocity decreases. That's why you will see there is a decrease in kinetic energy. So if I progress, progress, it is still coming. Still coming. As soon as, see, here the impact occurred. The velocity has reduced, the kinetic energy has reduced, then it is still going on, there is no deformation. See, at this point, I am getting maximum value and as soon as I move here, there is a backward movement and see, it is going like this, going like this, this there is a backward movement. Means when moving at a velocity of 5 meter per second and due to that that impact there will be a point when after which it will revert back so at this point the velocity is zero near to zero so that's why the velocity you see kinetic energy is near to zero velocity zero means kinetic energy near to zero then again it is going on the backward direction so you see the kinetic energy again moving upward now it goes back only to the kinetic energy is simply decreasing okay because it is not going same velocity as it was coming so if it go if it goes with same velocity as it was coming then it will reach over here but it's not like that and an internal energy this is the air now if you see internal energy exactly opposite see the internal energy initially the internal energy will be zero because there is no movement but kinetic energy will be maximum because initial velocity was given and as soon as the velocity it hits this the molecular movement starts and the internal energy increases so, then you have that's all about the energy, internal energy and kinetic energy. And the deformation, I have taken the deformation at the midpoint. At this midpoint, so how to take this, just go to XY data, what you build out for unique nodal deformation, I need in U3 direction. Just take any node and plot it. So, this is the deformation I have got. So, again, if I just use two window, I just do it on top view. 
or this view. See deformation, it is hitting the right. This is the moment. So, likewise, can get anything else. Step, step, step. So, in step, see, this is dynamic explicit step. Uh, here, I am simulating it for 0 0.04 second. Okay. And interaction. In interaction, what I have done is, in interaction, see, this is my crush box. This is my crush box. Okay. This crush box is tied with the with the bumper and this is the plate the plate that is referred in the article if you see so this is my cross box this is my plate and this is my bump if i go to sme this is how it look like okay so if i hide this I just go to material visualization. See, this is my this white one is plate, this is crash box, and this is material. Now, what I am doing is I'll be fixing the plates because the plates boundary condition for the plates will be fixed because these two will be fixed to the car somewhere, and to connect these this plate i have connected this plate and this plate with a single point so that i can apply simply the boundary condition over there and i have used it mpc beam constraint so control point it is asking me to control point so i have created a reference point here you can just create a reference point at the middle and then using that reference point connect that reference point with the slave nodes means the nodes of the plate so that means this plate and this plate is tied at this point and then an interaction of general contact is used and in general contact interaction this is the interaction property with a penalty coefficient of 0.2 and normal behavior of hard contact so normal behavior hard contact means if you try to push the wall if there is a wall in front of you if you try to push the wall that is called hard normal behavior and if you try to rub your hand against the wall that is your tangential behavior that's all. And to check property, etc., you can just go over here and check that. 